full name for the rest. Hashtag join the pack. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that's that's what I really want. More wolf mains in SoCal, so we can do the the Kazunoko how. You know, we actually don't see too many wolves here in SoCal now. Uh, I think we have a couple of them, but most of them are, are either secondaries or they're not really mains. But right now we got Master Mario and Zale. Zale bringing up that uh, Squirtle. Starting out Squirtle with Pokemon Trainer. Of course, Master Mario, no stranger to the MSM stream. I always love seeing Mario's because it always feels like no two Mario's play the game the exact same way. One of the most universal characters in the current roster. And Master Mario, I really like his aggressive playstyle. He's almost always in your face looking for those grabs, looking for the dash attack. He keeps the pressure on almost nonstop. That's right. I like to refer to Mar Master Mario as like the wild card Mario <laughs> because you never know when he's going to throw out those like crazy aggressive options. He will be playing neutral one second. And then uh, sort of condition you to maybe air dodge once or twice. And then all of a sudden he's sparing you at 20 and you're dead. But speaking of dead, Master Mario losing a stock to a down smash? Yeah, no double jump. Kind of a problem for Mario. Cave or not, that was going to be a return. Nice spot dodge. Follow up aerial. Squirtle with these lower percentages. Combo feet. Definitely Great. working out for Zill. Man. Ooh, even landing the down smash now. He's surfing out here. I love his, an his running <laughs> animation because he doesn't like water light you or anything. He straight up surfs. But, ooh, give him the hot hands. Ooh. That recovery is so far. <laughs> Sandwich those leaves a little bit. Charizard comes out to play. Nice combo from Master Mario. Not looking for the edge guard game. Goes in immediate grab. Down throw. Looks from the back air. Doesn't get that. Gets the down air after. Right, down air covers a lot of options. Even if you do the air dodge at the correct time, you can still get caught up on the end. But anti air up smash out of shield. Yeah, that's what you get for jumping around too much. Charizard is like, all right, I'm, I'm done with all this, buddy. Oh, and he caught nice the jump. Off the stage. He oh, caught the no! jump. We make statements out here. <laughs> that was a three stock. Zale dunked on him hard with that down air. Thank you, Charizard. The down air wasn't even necessary. It was already done. I mean, it was pretty necessary. <laughs> I, I, if you, if. As a connoisseur of down airs, that was pretty necessary. <laughs> well, it was necessary in that it had to be done, but Master <laughs> Mario wasn't coming back to the stage one way or the other. That was just, you just kind of glance over to the side after doing something like, yeah, all right, <laughs> these are my bands. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just already move on. It's like, ooh. Wow, what a statement coming out from Zale. Master Mario got three <laughs> stocked <laughs> in game one. But Master Mario, not someone who would uh, let him get get tilted by something like that. In fact, now if anything, he's going to play even more aggressive and be even wilder. Yeah, I mean, Master Mario, he's not going to back down from a challenge. They'll definitely seem to be ready for this aggressive play style. Mario, while he is a very universal character, you can kind of see him coming from a mile away. He doesn't have too many opening options. One thing I would like to see out of Master Mario is more use of the fireball, if anything, just to potentially force out a shield, force out some kind of response to get Zale off of his rhythm, because otherwise he could get three stock again. I think when, uh, when, when Zale is picking Ivysaur or Charizard, that the fireball is a good option. But when uh, he's on Squirtle, I wouldn't want to throw out something that doesn't exactly have too much of a threat. Right. And is a little laggy because it really opens you up to just being combo food for Squirtle. But Bringing it back. Oh, and like the dash dance into the grab. Taking an opportunity to charge the flood. He's going to miss it. He'll back over the stage for a moment. Master Mario for the edge guard game. Up smash, by the way. Big head move. That's right. Give him the big brain. But a dash attack connecting for Zale. Oh. oh. Got to be careful of recovery against Charizard. He's got big hitboxes. Big, That's strong hitboxes. Another huge show of confidence for Zale. I'm just going to throw this down smash right here. No coup, no guile. That was definitely a call out. <laughs> like, you're going to air dodge. You scared. Yeah, you scared. <laughs> Back to the Squirtle game. Down throw in the follow up combo. Combo from Mario already at 41%. But getting, uh, getting a few up airs. That's Mario. It's going to reward him a little bit of percent. With about 91%, we're not seeing Zell switch. There's a switch. We can just kind of get Master Mario away from him a little bit just to give him the opportunity. Ooh. But another F smash as Master Mario dodges to the ground. I don't know what is with these air dodges to the ground. He's got to manage the double jump, has to manage the air dodges. Otherwise, he's going to continue to cost him stocks for the rest of the night. He Zell doesn't usually do that. I'm not sure what's going on with Master Mario. He's having an off night, but he's going to have to turn that around. 
right now. He wants to force out game number three. But even at low percentages, Ailes Ivysaur looks to be more than up to the task to get some of these combinations going. Knifing out the, oh. the Leaf with the Fireball and landing a down smash at the ledge. Right. He's an own down smash. See Master Mario struggle against Charizard, but 73% he could eat one or two solid attacks and forward smash might be enough to do it. 28%. We're switching back to Squirtle. I mean, I definitely agree with that switch. Charizard, if he's not landing attacks, he's just going to be combo food. Just a big hitbox or a big hurtbox for Master Mario to make a combo video out of. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to make a Twitch clip. The only Twitch clip I want to see is when I don't go into game number one up here. Big threat to Mario. But Ivysaur has a lot of kill power. Don't get up! Ooh! Woo! Playing it fast and loose out here. Brings out the cape, tries to send some of these projectiles back sails away. The zoning game for Ivysaur is definitely working out right now. And I like the way he's using the leaf, the razor leaf. He's jumping in, he's jumping out. He's making it very difficult which way he's weaving. Maybe at only that percentage is not going to be enough for a takedown. Still not too worried about that Charizard. He comes out to play at 120%. You can't get slapped. That's right, but you got to be careful with oh. these, these jumps. He's ready. Zale is ready to throw out that up smash out of shield. You know what we haven't seen yet? Flare Woods. Oh! Prostate exam. That cross stage F smash is enough. Even though it's such a heavy character like Charizard. Spark them up. Forward smash is a big deal for Mario. That percentage. Still, that could have easily been Zale's game. Oh, definitely. That game could again to could have gone either way. But still, Master Mario able to clutch out game two to take it to a game three. Look at that nod to himself. He's like, all right. I think I've pieced, the, pieced together the puzzle here. I know how to come away with this third game. Pokemon it's really dependent on which Pokemon uh, Zale is actually playing because if he's playing Squirtle, he knows that uh, Master Mario knows that Zale's going to be approaching, going to be playing aggressive as soon as he switches to Ivysaur to be more of a zone based play style. And then Charizard's going to hit with those power moves. So it's just, it's being able to adapt. It definitely felt in that last game, at least, that Master Mario was more playing passively against the Ivysaur in particular, bringing out the cape more, kind of watching Zale do that weave in and out option, and then he looked to use his speed advantage against Charizard. He's more than comfortable going shot for shot with Skirtle right here. He's a very aggressive on Mario. I think if he gets the most value against Squirtle and Charizard, he could have been Okay, see the switch, and here comes the tough part, Ivysaur, and down throw into up B. That is such a great kill confirm for Ivysaur to have. Yeah, those, Who else can do that? Those aerial attacks <laughs> on Ivysaur are big as actual wow. This covers like an eight for the stage, it feels like. Mario in, but there, already getting back into the aggressive play. Forward smash, first time. That's right, Master Mario played Pokemon. He knows that fire is super effective against grass. <laughs> Forward smash, switching to Pokemon, really strong combo canceling option. Squirtle 41% can definitely do some work here. Dash is over, it's the aerial attack. Yeah, the I like the on. use of withdrawal coming out from the Squirtle, but now with Ivysaur, it's gonna go, go you know, Zale's looking for those kill confirms. Anytime you're vertical against the Ivysaur, you better be Monka S in the chat. Down aerial's gonna just almost connect. Charizard comes back out. 93.8% forward smash could do. This is a little bit earlier for Zale to actually use the Charizard. You typically will see Charizard come out at a higher percent, but there's a Flare Blitz. But a, a spaced forward air for Master Mario, very unfortunate. He got the sour spot. It felt like too obvious an option. Like, sure, he hasn't shown it all set, but if there was a time he could pull it out, it would be coming back from the stage in that moment. So, Master Mario definitely shown that he's keeping the potential threat of that in the back of his mind. But if he throws a cape out at the right time, that could be pretty awkward too. Ooh, up there. Pretty quick. That's right. He's got a huge hitbox as well. But already just going directly for the Ivysaur and going for a kill with an up air. Squirtle's like, I just wanted to play the game, man. No, not, it's not your turn, <laughs> Squirtle. Get back in the Pokeball. So they're looking for the grass type. Ooh, Master Mario looking for the spike. Anti-air up smash. Zales made a lot of mileage out of that up smash from Charizard. Now it's time to go back to the quickness. 
grab the combination. 70% of B wouldn't have been enough. Right now, Mastermaro keeps the pressure on forward tilt. Looks for the back air, gets another grab down throw. So smart from Ka uh, from Master Mario. Trying to hose him down, forward smash. Waiting for him when he gets back on stage. Dale gets around that. 108%. We might see him stay in Charizard just for the heaviness at this point. Uh, but right now, he's... Ooh! Ooh. That almost connected. That would have been bad news for Master Mario, but now we see Zale trying to recover. Gets clipped by a fireball. What's the option going to be? He's back on the stage. Up smash. That's going to miss. There's the grab. Throws him off stage. Only 60%. Stop Zale call out. Air dodging to the ground. Stop it. Zale out there trying to cook him up. He gets Master Mario back on the stage. We're fishing for these up smash. You can see how Master Mario is trying to close out this game. 109% though. This is anyone's game right now. Oh, that was the freest back air I've oh. seen all day. Zale had that <laughs> game, but he did not want to pull the trigger.